So moving on to a totally different realm, the realm of collaboration. What's automation got to do with collaboration? It's because the ways we collaborate are expanding. And RGS supports many kinds of collaborations to meet your needs. Some of you have a personal GIS, and you work within that space, and you collaborate with other individuals. Some others work within an organization, and you're able to centralize. Over time, over the recent years, we've realized that a lot of you in your organizations are actually distributed. Distributed as departments, distributed globally, distributed as uh, other agencies or other organizations, and we want to find a way that we can bring it all together. We call this distributed GIS, sort of like a system of systems, and it's redefining what a modern GIS is. The goal of it is to make you smarter, to work smarter, to get your data-driven decisions quicker. So the way you work with it is the way you work with it today in the sense that you access all kinds of data, all kinds of products, and you have your people distributed. So it's really bringing portals closer to the places where people do work within your departments. So you're more productive in, in those areas like you see here in this diagram. And with RTS Enterprise 10.5, we're introducing portal-to-portal -portal collaboration as the first of many such technologies that you'll see coming into the platform to expand the collaboration and your workflows. The way it works is pretty simple. We're going to take a simple case, uh, because we are limited in screen space here, of two portals and trying to create a collaboration within them. It's basically a trusted collaboration. It's a way we go through establishing trust between the two and extending your system of engagement. Once you've done this, the way the sharing works is like what you're used to. You share via groups. It's just that it happens to be that this group is remotable. So that's how we'll go through it. And I'm going to challenge Shriyas that this distributed GIS is a nice concept that many have been talking about. But can you bring it to life in five minutes? Time starts now. Thank you, Jay. Transportation department within a city manages and routes a fleet of vehicles. Now, to do this, they need access to the most up-to-date information regarding street closures in the city, information that's usually available or accessible to the Public Works Department. One way that the Transportation Department can get access to this information is to put in a request with the Public Works Department and get an exported map and data and then import it back into their Transportation Department portal and make use of it. A more efficient approach, as you will see, is to use portal-to-portal -portal collaboration. The first step in setting up collaboration between two portals is that the IT administrators of the two organizations must agree to enter into a collaboration. The second step is to identify a portal that's going to act as the collaboration host. I am logged in as the administrator of the Transportation Department portal. This is going to be the collaboration host. I can create a collaboration using the Create Collaboration button in my organization settings. A collaboration name requires a name and a description. Each collaboration contains a collab one or more collaboration workspace. A collaboration workspace is a project or a theme that can organize your content within a collaboration. So let's give it a, a collaboration name and a description. The last thing is to link in a group in my portal to this collaboration. And I am going to use an existing group, that's the street closures group, and proceed to create a collaboration. Now that I have created a collaboration, I have to invite the Public Works Department portal to join my collaboration. So I invite Public Works Department as a guest organization, and this requires us to input the URL of the Public Works Department and set an access mode. Access mode can be send, receive, or both. In this case, we want the Public Works Department to send content to the collaboration, and therefore we'll just use the default value, that's the send content. This saves an invitation that I need to securely send to the IT administrator of the Public Works Department. So I'm now logged in as the IT administrator of the Public Works Department, and I have received the collaboration invitation. 
I'm going to go ahead and accept the collaboration invitation by going into the same collaborations menu and accepting the invitation. Once the invitation has been accepted, I save a response that I need to securely save ba send back to the IT administrators of the transportation department. But one last step that I need to do is link in a local group in the, trans in the public works portal with the collaboration. So I have an existing group that's the sanitation group, and I'm going to join this to the collaboration. Switching back to the transportation department, I, as an administrator, need to accept the response that was received from the public works department. And this completes the circle of trust between the two portals. The invitation and the response files actually were certificates that are later on going to be used to exchange content between the two portals. Let me switch some context. I am now logged in as an analyst or with a publisher role into the transportation department. Let me show you the current status of the, sun, of the street closures group that's available in the transportation department. And as you can see, it's currently empty. Now, this is expected. Let me now switch to our public works portal. I am an analyst in the public works department, and I am responsible for creating layers and maps that identify projects, sanitation projects, for the month of March. Now, I believe that these layers and maps will be very useful for the transportation department. So I simply select the maps and the layers and share it with the sanitation group. Now, remember that the sanitation group was participating in collaboration. And so the collaboration engine is going to kick in, and it's going to synchronize the maps and the layers to the transportation department. While it's doing that, let me show you what the map looks like. This map has, uh, it's a simple map with two layers. It has the open manholes layer and the damaged sewer pipes in my city. Let's go back to the transportation department. Remember that this group was earlier empty, so I'm going to refresh this group. And as you can see, the layers and the maps have been synchronized with my portal. Let's open this map. This map will have the exact same layers viewable by the Public Works Department. It's actually referencing the same layers hosted by the Public Works Department as well. So if any edits were made by the Public Works Department, they would be immediately viewable here. I can add my own local layers from my portal, share the map with my organization, and reroute the buses or the fleet of vehicles as needed. Now, all of what you saw today has a very easy-to-use RESTful API that can be scripted and automated. And everything that you see today is available right now in 10.5. Thank you. Back to you, Jay. So I think Shreyas made the grade, right? Five minutes to a distributed GIS. So in conclusion, I would have to say that there's a need today for you to script, automate, and distribute your GIS. And the need is arising because this is what a modern GIS is.